one, start. Let me come out of the gate and say I love the Metal Slug series. After picking up Metal Slug Anthology for the Wii, which contains nearly every main installment, it's quickly become one of my favorites of all time. Every game is so consistently good, perhaps because they're all so similar. Regardless, every game has some noticeable differences, especially when played back to back. That being said, how does Metal Slug 5 turn out, both on its own and as a part of the series? Oh, uh, quick answer, really good. Or, well, really well. Wait, am I supposed to know how to write things? For those unenlightened, Metal Slug is a fantastic series of run-and-gun shooters by SNK, in the same vein of games like Contra, but better. Yeah, I said it. Metal Slug 5 follows Marco Rossi and partner Tarma Roving, in addition to Eri Kazumoto and Theo Germi. Jeremy. Yeah, I know those names. Anyways, as any of the four characters, you set out to investigate the mysterious Ptolemaic army. Not that you'll know it, really. Most of the Metal Slug games, including this fifth main installment, were developed for arcades, so there's not much in terms of story here. It's all about killing soldiers and crazy cool bosses. Somehow, that's what makes Metal Slug 5 a little disappointing. Previous installments featured supernatural elements, but 5 distinctly lacks any sort of explicitly supernatural foes, for the most part. I just wanted to fight some zombies with bloody throw-up attacks, but at least the enemies you find aren't just the Nazi-esque soldiers present in all the games. Gross tomb worms will do. I got off track a bit there talking about tomb worms, but as I mentioned, Metal Slug is all about that, well, running and gunning, and 5 is no exception. There's not much to say about it other than, it's awesome. The feeling of traversing the beautifully hand-drawn environments, killing equally beautifully hand-drawn sprites is, quite frankly, nearly unmatched in the genre. But that's when you're doing well. The Metal Slug games are incredibly hard, and you guessed it, 5 is no exception. One-hit deaths, bullet-filled air, lob grenades, tank spikes, some platforming challenges, and more don't really make for a relaxing experience. Luckily, or blasphemously, depending on your inclination, Metal Slug Anthology provides an option for unlimited continues. Even then, it remains an option, so hardened veterans can still enjoy getting destroyed and frustrated while I do the same, without ever getting a real game over. Aren't modern design elements great? Metal Slug is also known for its titular slugs, or vehicles. Five adds a few new, cool ones while keeping some returning favorites. But the same can't really be said for the weapons. Most of the firepower makes a return, but not much is new here. But I guess when you have awesome new bosses, you tend to forget about the things you use to kill them with. Metal Slug 5 probably has the most inspired and original boss fights in the series, and some of the hardest. Everything I've mentioned is presented in brilliant hand-drawn animation. The environments don't impress as much in terms of design, and general enemy designs are a little less radical, but Metal Slug 5 is still a great looking game. Like Theo. I mean, concept art presents her in typical anime style, but come on, she kicks ass and wears glasses. Here's the thing about Metal Slug 5. It's more Metal Slug. That, that's a good thing, by the way. However, while previous installments didn't necessarily change radically between releases, the changes between 4 and 5 feel even more minor. But if you get Metal Slug Anthology, which you really should, it's probably the best way to get these games, you'll hopefully play each of the pretty short installments so close together you won't even notice. Because, yeah, these games are short. They are incredibly difficult games inside for arcades, after all. Regardless, Metal Slug 5, despite all my comparisons, stands on its own as a fantastic running gun shooter. Metal Slug is known for its addicting and crushing gameplay, fluid animation and designs, and sense of humor. And Metal Slug 5 is... I won't say it.